This is how you can create this awesome halftone effect inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dyer Graphics. So halftone is essentially a technique where we use dots instead of solid color. Back in the days, halftone was often used for printing comic books and newspapers, mostly to save ink. Today it's often just used as an effect. So let's get into it. First we need to create a canvas. So go to File, go to New, and the reason why in this video I haven't created the canvas already is because we need to take a look at the color mode. I usually do all my designs in RGB color mode, but for halftones I recommend using CMYK. The effect of the halftone will be very different depending on if you use RGB or CMYK. So for this tutorial I will use CMYK and click OK. Now we need to create a shape. So for this tutorial I will simply just take a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Then unselect the stroke, select the fill color, and for the fill color select a gray color. Then to do the actual halftone go to effects, go to pixelate, and go to color halftone. Then in the max radius fill you can set the maximum size of the biggest dots and these will be the angles of the different color channels. So the angle of cyan, magenta, yellow and key color, which is the black color. You can play around with these numbers to get different effects. Basically it means if these numbers are the same all the way up, the dots will align exactly on top of each other. If the numbers differ, the different colored dots will be next to each other. You can simply just leave these as default. The most important part is the max radius. So for this tutorial I will simply just select 50 pixels and click OK. So now as you can see we suddenly have a lot of colors. This is on purpose to show you how this works. So the reason why we get a lot of colors instead of just black dots is because the gray color I chose has color in it. So let's move this panel a little bit. And as you can see if we go down to CMYK there's also color in C, M and Y. And as you can see the bigger the value the bigger the dots. So the biggest value is the cyan and cyan is also the biggest dots. And the smallest value is the key color, which is the black color. And the black color is also the smallest dots. So this is an effect you can achieve if you want. But the effect you see in comic books just uses one color. So let's get rid of the colors. Simply just go to the C, type 0. Then go to the M channel, type 0. And go to the Y channel and type 0. Then click OK. So now we are down to only one color, which is the key color. And right now, because we chose a solid gray, all the dots will be the same size. And if I choose a darker gray, let's say 50% key color, the dots will expand. And if I chose a lighter gray, the dots will get smaller. So how do we achieve the effect from comic books where the dots go from big to small? This is very simple. We simply just make a gradient. And because the gradient goes from total white to total black, the dots will start to disappear right here in total white and the dots will start to fuse together in total black. So to get a more clean look, simply choose a very light gray, like 10% gray, and a very dark gray, like 60% gray. This will separate the dots to make a more pleasing effect. So this seems simple, but we have one problem. What if we want all the dots to be red or another color that is not a primary color in CMYK? So let's try to just color it red. So select the shape and we can try to just grab a red and replace the gray with a red. And as you may have noticed, this doesn't work. This is because red in CMYK scale is made by a lot of other colors. So let's double click the red color. And here you can see the red is made from 16% cyan, 97% magenta and so on. So how do you achieve making all the dots entirely red? So this is where we have to cheat a little bit. So simply go back to the grayscale gradient. I will undo the red color by clicking Ctrl Z. So now we are back to the dark gray and the light gray gradient. So if I want all these dots to be any kind of color, you simply select the shape, go to Object and go to Expand Appearance. Then go back to Object, go to Image Trace and select Make and Expand. So now we have a group of dots. So simply right click and click on Group. Then we can delete this white frame. And now these are simply just shapes, which means that you can select them and just choose any color that you like. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.